road still costs one energy. <laughs> <laughs> They're space roads. Space roads. Can you have like hover roads? Uh, the there is an upgrade they're called Mag Rail. Oh, cool! Wow. Yeah. There's an app for that. That's the equivalent. There's an upgrade for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that Cashton over here is looking pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. Got lots of nice improvements. It's very we're we're rocking beautiful. it. Beautiful. Got a historic district already. A what? <laughs> who would you say is winning at the moment and who's losing? Well, I can't actually see the score, so that's uh, not really I'm fair. on 67, Dunker's on 61, oh. and Shane is on 56. Those oh. aren't pings. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. I thought it was getting laggy. <laughs> but it, it's still early early turns, so it's really anyone's game. That was the thing we found with, um, with Civ Five is that as soon as you founded a religion, bam, you just got like a 100 score, mm -hmm. and it was a bit deceiving in that, that yeah you'd think you were doing okay because you'd figured out how to worship the desert and yeah. then right. you suddenly realized that you didn't have any battleships <laughs> <laughs> actually it's just sand so yeah. yeah guys wait this is just sand <laughs> it was <laughs> sand all along it wasn't millions of gods oh. tiny grain sized gods i got a i got a manticore yeah nice i'll see that oh my god so you dug it up sort of yeah so those are great because they have all of the same advantages that the alien does, which oh. means they can go in Miasma no problem. They actually heal in it. Um, oh. They get combat bonuses when they're there. The aliens don't care about them, so you can actually attack aliens without raising their uh, hostility to you. Um, they're pretty cool. Will aliens oh, wow. attack it back, though? Yes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I had an alien unit that I'd found after digging something up, but aliens did randomly attack it. Yeah, I mean, it, they recognize that it's there's something wrong with it. Right. But uh, it's uh, the aliens. Think of it this way: when the aliens observe hostility, they sort of make a note of it. And if they observe hostility from you, they'll um, they'll sort of treat you as bad. You know, you're a bad person. But if they observe hostility from another alien, they don't really know what to make of that. So right, kind of gets lost in the wash. Okay. So it's good to kind of collect them, and then you can kind of wipe out aliens without. Well, just one them. manticore isn't really going to do it on its own. Yeah, go, go, go on, Duncan. We wipe never out, know. Wipe out all the alien <laughs> presence on this map with that one manticore. It's a ranged one. Oh, it's got oh. a big, big range, actually. Kite a worm. <laughs> Kite a worm. I could. I could start hitting a worm. Where's that worm? Oh, it's getting up. Oh, it's really in my base now, actually. <laughs> God damn it. It's, it's, it's coming for me. There's a lot of aliens around Freeland. Yeah. I don't know why they're, well, they're so interested. <laughs> You're, you're a curious creature. <laughs> what is that? Oh, God. Aliens just dig freedom. They like they like freedom. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Maybe I should start killing them. No. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That worm will ruin me, though. <laughs> yeah, I, have I, to, I have to research something first. If there's anybody that needs uh, an ultrasonic fence, it's probably you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Good preemptive measure. Okay, let's, uh, let's switch, my, switch my tech to ecology. <laughs> Is it worth not quite expanding your borders so aggressively really early, even if you can afford it then, just because that might upset aliens? It depends on how close they are. Okay. None of you guys seem to be really right on top of it. I haven't seen a hive yet. Yeah, no, nobody's like really next door to a, a dense alien habitat, so there's no detriment here, but um, in, um, I don't know, it's, that's a very interesting question. There's always power to be gained by gaining more territory. The resources are extremely valuable. Mm. And um, city power is, you know, the power in this game, just like in any Civ. So if you deliberately avoid it, you are kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage. Maybe it's better to say that if you do find yourself right next to uh, a collection of aliens and your borders are expanding quickly, you do need to shift your priorities to account for the inevitable fallout from that. Right. Oh, I just got Far Base 1 appeared next to me. Yeah, I see that too. So are these like kind of personal city states almost. They're they're called stations, yeah. and uh, they're not exactly city states. They're they're more like uh, independent companies or sort of splinter groups that set up operations kind of on their own where there are no laws and uh -huh. um, offer you lucrative trading possibilities. So they're there for you to establish trade routes with, and they can become extremely powerful assets if you if you maintain trade with one for a good while. It'll improve, like the, the operation will get better and you'll get more out of the trade route every time. Right. And, and they're, you know, they only take up one tile, so they're sort of easily avoided. They're also kind of ephemeral, like they, you know, there'll be a, a lot of them appearing and they'll also disappear. They'll go away if, um, if nobody's trading with them, sort of oh, like, okay. you know, opening up a shop and then if nobody comes, well, we close up shop. 
they can also be a bit of a liability. One way uh, to make up for deficiencies in your sieve is to trade with a station. But station's kind of out there on its own, so you, if you don't protect it, someone can swoop in and kill the station without actually declaring war on you and cripple your sieve because you were relying on the station oh, for, right. for a resource or, or whatever. Um, so you have to be careful. If you really rely on them heavily, make sure that they're protected. Um, stations, particularly between rival sieves, can get very interesting. Mm -hmm. So is it like if you capture one, what do you get from it? But it's like plundering um, uh, a very lucrative uh, alien nest or camp. Okay, right. So you get a lot of resource. Usually, the resources that they would make, like if it's a station that's trading uh. you culture and you plunder it, you get a lot of culture. So uh, it's worth. Is, are they quite hard to kill? Is it worth just going around taking them out? No, they're they're fairly simple. Um, like I said, they're they're sort of independent groups. They don't have the sort of power and mm. backing that a full sieve has. So you can totally just run right over them. But yeah, you got to watch out if the if there's a neighbor sieve that's trading with them and you take it out, they'll they'll take diplomatic yeah uh, ire <laughs> to imagine. you. Okay. Oh, I've lost a unit. Uh, my manticore was killed by attrition. Oh. What does that mean? Miasma? No, they're immune oh, no, to it. He got killed by the worm. Oh. Ah. Was the worm called attrition? <laughs> That's his name. Trisha. <laughs> Mr. Tr Trisha. Trisha the worm. <laughs> oh, my manticore. It didn't even do one point of damage. Bloody worm. <laughs> so much for taking out the entire alien race. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man! He knew you were thinking about it. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, he did. He helped. He helped me say it. He could sense. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get some fences up and running soon. <laughs> yeah. Alien hive. I see this columnist you got there. Shh. Not supposed no. to. <laughs> no, he just gave it away. <laughs> no, he's uh, he's he's. It's, that's that. not. An, uh, that's not a colonist. That's oh. an alien that looks oh, okay. very much like a colonist. Just looks like a truck. <laughs> just a box shaped alien. <laughs> got it. Yeah. So they're getting smarter. They're mimicking yeah. what we look like. Mm -hmm. Awesome. They're evolving. <laughs> there's no uh, there's no year in this, is there? I mean, there used to be years in um, in Civ Five, but it's just turns now because I guess the, the concept of like time is kind of irrelevant in space. Well, it's not that it's irrelevant. It's just that we wanted it to be ambiguous. So, how much time is actually passing? We want to sort of leave that up to the player's imagination. Um, and what a year means on a new planet with a different kind of solar cycle. You know, who knows oh, how true. much time that's, that would yeah, represent. That's the point. It's been daytime the whole time I've been here so far. Yeah. Right, it's just one long day. Really long day. <laughs> I think the night happens in between turns. Uh, it does feel a lot darker than, than Civ Five though. The, the terrain and the overall, like, kind of... I think it's just because it's all purple and blue mm -hmm. rather than, like, bright green. Yeah, this is the darkest feeling biome. The the arid biome especially is very kind of bright and oh. can feel very warm. Not necessarily friendly. I mean, it's very desert, deserty. I like playing on this biome because the units really pop off. Yeah. They're they're kind of like these bits of candy, you know, on a on a darker field. It's really cool to look at. The fungus. If yeah, you look the at fungus. the fungus tile, I like the way that uh, that definitely uh, pops. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like the uh, the floatstone. The floatstone is awesome. It's sort of moving a teeny bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like these mountains. They're just like big craters. Mm -hmm. Not too near me. Those are the chasms, aren't they? No, they're mountains. Oh. They're crater crater mountains. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh yeah, the yeah, these those are pretty cool. Yeah. Are there many naval units in the game? Is 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 sea a big a big thing? Uh, well, the um, the sea is sort of two things. The uh, there are naval units. There's uh, naval fighters and carriers uh, for your aircraft. Uh, but uh, so none of you have actually gone to sea yet, so you don't know. But there are quite a lot of naval aliens, mm. and they're very strong. So. The uh, the oceans are, are fairly dangerous to you early on, so you um, you're going to be a little bit slower getting to sea. But when you do, it can be uh, totally worth your while because naval trade is extremely valuable. It's it's fifty percent more lucrative than land based trade. Ah. So if you can find yourself a trade route that travels by sea, not only will it go faster, but it'll it'll produce more. So in the early game, you're kind of looking at the sea as a way to to speed up your sieve growth. But then in the late game, the seas kind of start to unfold as uh, tactical spaces because many of the units upgrade eventually to hovering versions. And there are unique units for, for two of the three of fifties that hover. And hovering units just fly right over the water. They're just as effective. And so, ah. so you can just you can put together these battle groups of sort of heavily loaded aircraft carriers and um, sort of hovering tanks and make this 
army that just sails right across oh, wow. the water and shows up <laughs> somewhere else and, and pounds somebody. That's very amazing. surprisingly. Yeah. But you got to watch out. Like I said, those aliens at sea. Are, um, yeah. It's the way we, we compensated for giving you access to the ocean earlier. So it's, it's easier to get things to embark. It's easier to get boats. Uh, but the sea is a very dangerous place. So you have to be careful. Mm-hmm. Oh, the aliens just killed my work, my warrior. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. You guys are having all kinds of trouble with aliens over there. Yeah. I'm gonna get for uh, five energy in the capital. That sounds nice. I could probably start build, buying stuff now, couldn't I? Purchasing with my energy. I could buy like another. Tr I could buy a trade convoy. Hmm. Another worker. Is it? I guess it's worth doing trade because I can trade with Firebase One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I buy one of them. If you don't trade with the station for a certain number of turns, depending on the game speed, okay, they'll they'll go away. So you sort of have to seize the opportunity while you have it, assuming that you want it. Do they come to your aid if you're in in, in danger? Will they send units to help you? No, they're not. Um, they're not sort of fully fledged civs. They don't build units. They only provide augmentation for your for your nation and, and kind of um, what you might say pinch points or. Yeah. Our point of argument between you and the other major players. Mm. You can trade for units, though. There's a military station that will give you. Oh, okay. How do you how do you do that then? Wait, none of the ones on the on this map are, are those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that through the diplomacy or? No. Uh... Oh, just so... just to to get something out of a station, you just trade with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Just establish a trade route to right. it. Right. The um. The covert ops. When did that start happening? So as soon as you build a spy agency. Mm hmm. Uh, which I think is on computing, or one of the leaf mm -hmm. techs of computing. Um, yep. You can build a spy agency and you'll get three covert agents. Oh, wow. And after you get those agents, you can start using them uh, um, against other civs. Are there any go-to techs? I mean, once you've gotten what you need for your civ and you feel like, like you're stable, are there any go-to beeline techs that you kind of just rush? That's a good question. We, we really tried very hard to make sure that a go-to tech was going to be specific to the game. You know, really, it's going to be right. an answer to the problem that you have in this particular game. there I mean, there are some problems that are in every game, like there's a lot of aliens, or uh, you need to expand quickly because there's valuable territory that your neighbor is, is encroaching on. So um, pioneering and planetary survey are both pretty quick early grabs. Mm -hmm. Many people like to get the trade up and running and like to get to sea. Um, ecology is usually really uh, a, pref a preferred first or second tech because of the ultrasonic fence. It's, it's a good place to go and just kind of, you know, be able to to avoid the alien problem at least for a while, until you have more cities and you um you need more territory and you really are kind of taking taking land from the aliens and then you have to be more aggressive. Yeah. But uh, if you're playing military, um, I think it's physics that has the ranger with your your range marine. The, oh, he's like an archer. Yeah, AKA yeah. archer uh, is very valuable. Like so, as soon as you put a, a ranger on the field, uh, you can play a. a a military strategic game much better than anyone else. You can, you know, right. hit them from afar and keep them out of your territory. So oh, that's a good choice. There's craters here by my um, explorer up in the north. Are they, and, and they're classed as mountains, so I can't pass over them. That's right. Okay. They're just mountains, yeah. They're cool looking mountains. What's, Mag oh, Magan, is that your second city? Uh, n no. Ah, I see. <laughs> Must be an alien hive. <laughs> right, let's go and take that out, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 I gotta say. <laughs> So that's still an outpost, is it? Yeah, you can see it has a, uh, it has its own tile and then two tiles around it, and it has no production and has very very weak combat strength, no population. So every turn it'll gain another tile in its in its immediate border, and when it gains all of them, when it gets all the tiles that it's capable of gaining, which in this case would be all seven, all right, um, it it'll city. it'll become a city. Ah, okay. So if you build like next to a mountain, could it not get that tile? It'll be it'll be a city quicker or. Uh, you 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 can still claim mountain towns. Oh, you okay. just can't work them. Right, I see. It'll just claim the mountain last. Does this mean war versus Duncan? No, 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 no,